Yes. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can quickly change and I've just got a, a swatch here, a swatch colour scheme. They're made up, made up of greens, yellows, etc. But I want it to become sort of like all made up of uh, different reds. Or of course it could be different blues. Quick way of doing that and that's to use the colour guide. Just over here the colour guide if you can't see that. Window colour guide. Now to actually get selection of nice reds in there always find the easiest quickest way and I'm certain there's other ways but this is the way I do it and I'm just gonna just quickly create a yellow there so I've just got yellows there I want reds so reds are there so I can go back over here select that and you will see a whole nice range of different red options here and I'm going to go for the monochromatic I could go for that one but I'm or maybe monochromatic two okay just select that and then just basically just click the colour guide and you can just randomly go through that until you find a nice red combination that you happen to like. Of course you could also modify it here, just change the colours but I'm just going to keep it red. Don't want to do any more, perfectly happy with red. Right, click OK. Now there are other ways of doing this and I'm just going to go back now. Once I've actually done that I don't want that anymore, I'm just going to go back to the original one. There's actually a nice plugin, and I'm just going to go to. Also, I'm just going to show you this one as well. Edit colors, so edit edit colors, and color adjust, color balance, and just click there, and you can just obviously push that right up to the reds. Submit it like that as well if you wish. Make some. Variation there, I don't want that. And there you can obviously modify and get reds as well. Of course, you've got other options there as well. Okay, another option, and I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want that one. I'm actually just going to go to now, I could go to edit the object, I should say, object menu, filters, and phantasm. And now, phantasm is a plugin set from Astute Graphics, and it sort of filters. And there's also live effects as well but they're filters that are very similar to Photoshop filters so you've got the usual standard that one is excellent half tone really really good it's got tons and tons of great features this one hue and saturation so I'm just gonna select that and it's got the good old colorize so you can just say colorize and then you can modify I'm just gonna make the saturation a bit greater than that and there you have it. You've got nice, a nice red selection of red again. Click OK. Anyway, that's a number of ways of getting nice cut selection of reds in your swatches. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.